Hi. So finally it stopped raining. We've had such a weather event here. Um, they say that we had the worst rainfall in 500 years. So it was pretty heavy, but I'm not quite sure how they know that it was the worst rainfall in 500 years. I don't know who was actually recording the rain call, <laughs> rainfall 500 years ago. But um, anyway, we'll, we won't argue with them. We won't argue with that. We'll talk about our painting. So last week I finished it here, but I think I had it um, this way round, and I had seen that this was sort of looking a little bit like a face, and I was wondering whether I would bring that out and make it about a face, but I've decided I don't want to do that. So um, I've turned it, and so now it's going to be like that. Um, and uh, so what I want to do this time is um, I've got this dark area here, these darks here, and they're very similar. So I want to add some variety here. Um, the colour is pretty much blues, yellows, yellow ochre, and dark grey. And I want to add something that's got a little bit of punch into that. It's kind of a very predictable colour scheme. I want to add something that's a little bit different. So I don't know what colour I'm going to add, but um, I'll think about that as I'm working. I don't like this area here. I don't like that, that little neck. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that. I don't like this over here, so I'm going to do something with that. Um, and I don't like the way this finishes kind of in the same line as that, so I'm going to either bring that up or you know, maybe I'll bring that up. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure, but I want to make a, a change there as well. Uh, the parts that I do like about this that I want to keep, I, I'm really liking how this is working. I like this. I like this whole bit along the bottom here actually. I like this, sorry, I like this bit here. So those would be the bits that I try and keep. But you never know. Um, sometimes when you solve a problem, solve one problem, it creates another, and so sometimes you have to sacrifice something. But my, my motto, or what I think about when I'm in situations like this, is that if I've done this once, I can do it again. And so if I have to lose it and do it again in a different way, then I can do that. So um, nothing is um, too precious, really. OK, so I will uh, get my palette out and get painting, and then I'll come back to you and show what I've done um, when I've finished. OK, so this is where it's at now. I'm quite happy with most of it. It's not finished. Um, I can't decide whether it's a hot mess, really. <laughs> I don't think it is. I think I quite like it. Um, I like this area here. I still like that. I um, might change that a bit. Um, this area here, I think, needs something. Not quite sure. This is all fine. I'm quite happy with all of that. Um, and this area down here is nice as well. So, yeah, most of it I'm happy with. Um, I'm going to leave it to dry now and then I'll probably put a few glazes over it. Um, yeah, so this area here. This area here I like, and this area down here I like, and this. So they're all parts that I do like in it. Um, I just think that is bothering me at the moment. If I can sort that out, I think I'm there. Um, but I'm going to leave it now, and I'll probably put some. Gla I'll probably glaze it, and um, next time, and see what it looks like after that. Okay, so um, now I'm going to glaze this, and um, I thought I would leave the camera on so that you can see what I do. Um, 
And I've had a thought that I might take this down a bit, actually, so I might do that as well. So we'll just see how things go. I'm putting a sort of a blue glaze on it because it's um, it's quite warm anyway. I might put a bit of warm glaze as well, but seeing what this will look like. So this is um, quinacridone blue or something, what's it called? Oh no, anthraquinone blue. And I'm just putting a little bit of the Nicoazo gold with it just to dirty it up a bit. I don't want it to be too bright. Ugh, like that. So now I've got a warm glaze here. I'll just put over some parts here. That warm glaze is nice. I like seeing the edge of the glaze. Now I don't mind some drips, but I don't want it to be too drippy all over the place. Right, now I really have to leave that to dry because there's no point painting over it now. Um, so I'll come back to it. Okay, so I've um, done the glazing and now it's dry. I just want to show you something that we haven't seen in a really, really long time. That's this over here. It's called sun. Sunlight. Look, I've got a shadow. We haven't had those for so many days, almost probably over a week. So that's making the painting look so much nicer. Anyway, enough of stop being silly. Um, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to try and fix up this bit here. I might take that down and um, we'll see where we go with this. Okay. I need the music on, so I'm going to switch you off, and I'll come back to you when, I've, when I'm done. Okay, I've decided to try and just make it look like one big shape. That's what I'm sort of heading for now. Um, I've got this white thing in the middle, which is probably a little bit too light, I think. I'm not quite sure. That's a bit, it's quite central. It's quite light. It's creating a really strong contrast here. I've got other strong contrasts, but I'm just going to have to see what happens with that. Um, that could be a problem. Um, but I've made some different marks in here. Um, I've lightened up this corner so that that whole area will be light. Um, 
and I've taken that bit down so that these bits are sort of, this is all kind of balancing on that. I quite like that, that's looking quite good to me. Um, so it's just a matter of sorting out the central bit, which was the problem in the beginning. Um, it's better, but it's still not, um, I don't think it's quite resolved there. And um, so the next time I come in, I'll probably maybe push that back a bit. Um, and I'm really liking, there's a little line here that's really, because all of this is very um, textured and loose and there's not much definition of anything going in here, a little line like this will look really good up in here. So I've got to wait for all that to dry before I can do anything like that. But um, that might be the next thing I do, is just to bring some little controlled lines in. Um, and I want to sort of define this area. There's a really nice little piece going up here. Um, and I want to make that more of a feature. So it might mean sending that back a bit so that that comes out. But I do like that line because it's different from anything else. But I have put something up here which is kind of similar. So that might mean that I can get rid of that a bit. Um, but anyway, it's evolving. And um, yeah, I think it's I think it's going to be fine in the end. It's just um, fine tuning these little bits and then. But I think I've got the basic design of it in now, and I'm quite happy with that. I like this sort of stacking thing that's happening over here. It's kind of happening here as well. So yeah, fun. <laughs>